Hello everybody, it is your favorite monkey and welcome back to Satisfactory and thank you so much for all of the really great comments on the previous video. It really is a great inspiration and uh, it really wants me to keep going. So, if you haven't noticed the title of this video or the top right hand corner of this video, you are in for a surprise because I've got something waiting for you guys as a surprise. We're gonna unlock the monorail, the trains. Yes, that's what we're gonna do today. Yeah, I've been busy for like two or three days just getting things going and being built. Especially the supercomputers or just the computers and the uh, the frames. What 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 are they called again? M modular? No, that's the modular frame. The heavy modular frame. Yeah, this thing is a beast to make. It's nine times faster if you craft it here at the workbench, yes. Um, but to carry most of the things, just to have enough, um, like there's a hundred screws, you can stack up to 500 in your inventory per slot. So you can only make like five. Then you run out of those things. You know? <laughs> so um, it has been quite a mission. Uh, before we get to unlocking real quick, we have, um, as you guys can see, the lightsaber. Kind of thing, uh, yeah. It's the it's the Xeno Basher, I think it's called. Um, we started off the Xeno Zapper. Now we have the Xeno Basher, which is really really great to have. Sup, dude? How's it going up there? How's the weather? No rain? Good. Now we also have this. I think it's more like a submachine gun than anything else. Um, it, although it does fire like a uh, normal machine gun. It even has that nice sound to it. I wish it did like a click sound. Like when it finishes like the pin striking and it strikes empty like a dry fire. That would be cool to have. Um, also another thing, uh, I don't know if people from Fix It or Coffee Stain who makes this game. If you guys are watching this video, I really like to aim down the iron sights. Hip firing is fine and all, but it, it sometimes feels, it's, it's, I don't know if it's, it's dead on accurate, actually, given where the sparks are flying. I should stop that. This is a very expensive <laughs> ammo. <laughs> all right. Now let's go ahead and unlock. I got all the things, and let's do this. Woohoo! Yeah. Milestone reached. A new set of buildings and vehicles needed for long-range transportation has been made available. In addition to built-in power conduction, rails-based transit ensures increased efficiency and reliability for both the transport of pioneers and cargo. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That is super awesome. Let's quickly take a look. Probably in, under transportation. There we go, look at this stuff. Oh, the train, electric locomotive. Mm, the freight car, train station, freight platform. All the beautiful things. This I don't know what it is. An empty train platform for when you need to create some empty space. Just basically what I need right now for self-isolation, you know, or just like social distancing, you know, just like uh, just carry some of these couple of guys, make some empty space between you and the next person. Sounds like grand plan. <laughs> uh, yeah, but in all seriousness, um, it's really awesome to have this unlocked now. I can see how much it costs. Um, modular frame is a pain in the butt to make, but it's fine. Uh, everything else is, it's doable. It's, 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 we can work with it. It's just going to take some time. Um, well, the tracks are fairly cheap. Okay. If you can, ha if you have a steel and you have it on mass, like I have over here, it is quite good to have. It's going to be easy to do. Uh, other things like, uh, the train, we're gonna, we're gonna just gonna play around with one. And ex just excuse this mess down here. This mess. This. Yeah, I, I said it correctly. English, not first language. Don't judge. Um, and yes, I know this pipe is a bit off, but bear with me. Uh, but yeah, so what I want to do with this platform, it looks like when somebody spilled spaghetti on the floor and it's everywhere. This is what this place looks like. Do apologize for that, it's only temporary. What I want to do with this place is I want to make it a large storage facility. Large storage facility. Did you like the thing? Well, it's no storage facility. Um, 
But currently I'm using this, it's super cheap and everything, uh, but we can move on to this. Uh, it's literally double the size, so it is basically two of these on stacked on top of each other, just in one unit. And I think you can stack these guys same time. Now, what I want to do is make this a whole storage area, like massively storage, and then on the other side over there, close to the steel production, I want to go ahead and have those coupon machines ready to suck in whatever we create. And I want to leave enough space so we can run conveyor belts off into a bit more of a distance so that we can have a um, like a factory or whatever, if we need individual factories or something. Um, but yeah, that being said, different things in different areas. Like, if I could probably show to you guys over here. I am currently mining quartz. Over here is our oil. So we're going to need a train to come down here. This is the waterfall. I want a train coming down this way, delivering our rubber and things to over here. So over here, I want a train to come down and deliver um, the quartz for us, you know? Or maybe the goods can be produced there and just delivered to here, to onto us, on mass. Yeah, I think, and I just, I would just mark that out. So, if we run on this platform, we should not get intoxicated or poisoned by very poisonous air. Yeah, we we should be good. We're literally on the brim of getting toxified. But yeah, so just a little bit more up until maybe that rock go down that way and have this space ready for a train arrival. Um, maybe have a train coming in from that side, delivering all the goods, moving towards where this line is going. I will probably have to move that. that it will be a shame if I have to, but I'll probably move that and go there. And there's a beautiful waterfall right there which I'm thinking we can utilize it to make a little bit of a beautiful scenery, like a scenic route on a train you get in, was it Sweden? Somewhere? I don't know, but there's a couple of places that have beautiful train scenes, scenic train routes, routes, whatever you want to call it. So that's my whole idea, and I do apologize if this was going on a bit too much, but yeah. Hold on, guys. Let me get some things going, test out the trains and stuff, and we'll be right back building train stuff. Hold tight. All right, welcome back. Hope you guys did hold on for, well, a second, I guess. And uh, for me, it was basically a day and a half. I had to construct a whole track. Let me show you guys. So over here, we have our train station, the main base station. And over here, we have our oil platform. Now over here somewhere, what I'm gonna do is have probably another station. I uh, think it would be here or here, which will just pick up the quartz, the raw, not not raw quartz, but maybe just um, the already created quartz. Uh, the things, I can't remember what they were. Uh, I think I have over here one of the machines that are busy making stuff out of the quartz. These things, uh, the quartz crystals. Oh, okay, there we go. Um, but there's also another variant of it. I think it's silica, or silica pearls, or something. But anyways, I have finished the track. It comes down over there. I do apologize if. Um, you know, we didn't build it together, but this took really long, guys. Like I said, a day and a half for me. So, for you guys, it might have been a second. A day and a half passed for me. And, um, yeah. So, let us go over with the things. I did kind of figure out most of everything. So, we have our train station over here. May You can name your station over here. Have an efficient day. Well, thank you. And uh, it shows your power consumption and whatnot. I did boost our capacity up to 35 so that we have enough power to play around with the trains because it's electric monorail. And um, over here is our timetables or whatnot, but we will get to that in a second. So over here we have our freight platform, which I set to unload. It is on default load, 
but um, you can set it to unload over there. And we also have a fluid freight platform, which just takes in liquid. So I think you can go and fetch water from the um, water extractors and train it to your base. But yeah, like uh, I would rather, you know, <laughs> extract water pump into coal generation plants directly and that would be sufficient. Um, but it has, let's say for instance, these guys, mm, there we go. So that, that, these two are inlets and these two are outlets. Okay. Same with the pipes. I think I have. Yeah. Uh, I think pipes, it does not matter to be honest, because pipes can go both ways. Although this does look like in inwards and as we can see from that arrow over there it's out outlets inlets and outlets um, same with these these would be then inputs and outputs and those would be inlets and outlets and um, over here I was thinking yeah we're gonna can I build another one let's see if we cannot take care of that real quick we can do some buildy buildy time together and let's do that the main reason why I'm doing this is because I want to get the plastics and I, I, think, it's, I think it's going to be a mixture of things, but it's going to be plastics and the rubbers with this one, which uh, and these fluids will be the heavy oil that is going to be collected at our heavy oil station. And then this will be the crystal quartz and the silica pearls or whatnot. We probably should just reconnect this as well okay so now that is done man this looks really cool i gotta admit so these um i can't remember what you would make well, the names in english i don't know what they would be um but what what are they called oh man now that's gonna bug me okay but anyways um these guys would let's say you fill up the freight platform then, and you chose it to be loading. So as your train would stop right over here at this block over here at the um, station itself, the train carts behind would just literally stop underneath these guys, okay? Grapples? Grapples. Let's just call them grapples. Then it would, this is actually a container right here. This, this, this block over here, it's a container. Ugh, can't get up to it. So, what would happen is, if the train stops here, that grapple will go and pick up this container and put it on the freight um, freight car over here. Um, same with the fluid one. This is the fluid, although it doesn't look like it, but it's actually a tank. I think they would change it. Well, I'm still on the experimental build. They might have um, fixed it in the normal build. But once this gets loaded, it becomes a fluid tank, and this would be containers. So let's go ahead and put down our train. Um, yes, we do have enough for that. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put it over here. And what I'll do, let's just, let's just do a small test. We are going to put down one freight car and another one. And I love how they snap to the track. It reminds me of Factorio. Um, but I think Factorio's train system is a little bit more user-friendly I would say this is a little bit confusing the system because you have to go to each one of these uh, freight platforms fluid platforms whatnot and manually choose what they need to do whereas in Factorio you have your train and you tell your train like okay if you stop at this station you are gonna wait until your inventory is full and then head off to the next station and, to, and then empty out your um, cargo your, or your inventory and then it would just loop around going to one station to the other one so this one let's go ahead to the timetables we are going to choose our locomotive I think we can name it I think we can name it here locomotive so whoever comments first in this video, I will rename the train after you. Right now, I'm just going to call it Train 1 for now. So if you want your name to be in the game, 
go ahead and leave a comment. The first comment, I will rename the locomotive to your name. Um, I'm not supposed to have any delays caused by any reason, including... Including... What was that? Uh, uh, oncoming rails, collisions, nuclear meltdowns, or general situational derailments. What? These, these things can derail? I did not know that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and choose the timetable. So we click on that. We're going to say, all right, listen, you are going to go to the um, platform. All right. The oil platform. And the oil platform already is set to lo um, load. This one will be unload. So you are going to load at that station. And then you're going to come back. You have to click on this to the main base station and wait for it to unload. Yeah. So we're going to choose you and we're going to say autopilot on. I'm going to jump on this and I'll meet you guys at the other station. See you guys in a second. All right, we are approaching the oil platform station. Oh yeah. So there was a little scenic route I wanted to show you guys, but that just did not happen. And this thing is super loud, gotta admit, but I love the noise of the horn. And there is actually an Easter egg in... There we go, there's the Easter egg. <laughs> the little steam whistle. And I love how this thing breaks. It looks awesome. Guys, I gotta admit, I'm, I'm, I'm in love with this. This is so cool. So it will come into the trains the platform. We only have two freights. So it's gonna stop. As we can see, the grapples go out. Pick up our inventory. There we go. Okay, so it's uh, actually inside those containers. Oh, let's see if we cannot do this. Ooh, look at that. That looks beautiful. And off we go. Oh, yeah. Man, that is so cool. All right. Now we are off into a... I am a little bit um, disappointed in myself uh, how I built this. But it is... I can't... I can't help it. It was just literally the, the terrain that just did not allow me to do it. And I also didn't know how it worked. The, um... The rails. It was just... It was a... Oh, it was a mess. It was a mess. But I got to figure it out. And it's super sloppy. Okay? I'm, I'm gonna admit it right here. Very sloppy. And I had to fight a lot of enemies along the way. They keep on respawning like there is no tomorrow. Where? <laughs> oh man. And I gotta clean up all these um, foundations lying around. This was me just trying to get things uh, look like they have some sort of support. And then I measure out between each support. Just so I can get the rails planted on. You can freely, like the conveyor belts, freely plant the rail. But I kind of want to have like something connecting. But yeah, oh man, this is so cool. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I mean, this is, I hope this is also just as cool for you guys as it is for me. Really, it is, it is something else. I am so glad we have this. All right, coming into main base station. And I love how cautiously it comes in, like a real train. There we go. Now it will undock. Let's see this. Oh, be careful, there's fuel in that. 
It just drops it. And now it will be on its own. It's gonna go and do its thing up until when it's... Well, I tell it to stop then. <laughs> Alright, so before we end off the episode, uh, I wanna just want to mention quickly that... Um, Oh, yeah, we can just climb up here. It's going to be much easier to explain from here. So, all this, what you guys see, I'm going to let it run for a little bit more. But all this is going to get ripped out. And this is going to, going to become one gigantic, gigantic storage facility. And I'm going to use these guys. I think there might be an upgrade one, but I'm not too sure. But... This is what we're going to use. And whatever we produce, they're going to go into these industrial storages. Everything. I'm also going to upgrade our steel production over there. Because I've upgraded some of the miners to the Mark II versions. And they have not been overclocked, but they are already extracting super fast. So, uh, that is what's going to happen there. And then maybe... Um, we will see from there on maybe just extend our factory platform because we still have a lot of room to work with um, and just mainly use conveyor belts around here just to get um, certain productions like our copper production and our iron production we, I, I want a full steel production over there because it's just convenient as how I set it up there but we need to get um, frames modular frames iron or reinforced iron um, encased iron or steel beams those things that's what we that's what we're gonna need to mass produce and then we need the end product products like um, the modular frames and things that needs to go into those manufacturers so that is gonna be a thing but anyway guys Thank you so much for joining me here on Satisfactory. I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. And I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, share it in the uh, thumbs up. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.